Hi, my name is Michelle Mochewa. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Team Bring Back Lake Victoria. In July 2020, my brother and I decided to start a campaign against plastic pollution in Lake Victoria. But we had trouble developing solutions because we didn't have any data to figure out what the real problem was and what was causing it. After spending months doing research and visiting multiple government institutions and getting the same answer, which was we don't have any data on plastic pollution, we decided to find the data ourselves. This is how the idea for Ziwasafi was born. Ziwasafi solves the problem of the lack of data on plastic pollution in Lake Victoria using citizen science. This lack of data makes it hard to develop proper solutions, develop action plans, measure progress and direct resources to where they are needed most. Our target market is smartphone users in Kisumu who are willing to help the planet by collecting data on plastic pollution in Lake Victoria. Our solution to the lack of data on plastic pollution in Lake Victoria is an app Ziwasafi that collects data on plastic pollution in Lake Victoria and in Kisumu using citizen science. How Ziwasafi works is as a person is collecting waste, they pick up a piece of plastic, open the app and put in their location, the type of plastic they found and the brand of this plastic. This information is then sent to a Google Sheet where we can see the timestamp, the location of where you picked up your plastic and the most common brands. This allows us to collect and understand the data on plastic pollution. We are mapping plastic pollution in Kisumu and finding out where it's coming from and where it's ending up. Our app also recommends nearby recycling centers so that once you're done with your cleanup, you don't take your recyclable plastic back to a dumping site where it's just going to end up in the lake again. We, also, we, are, we are also mapping the most polluted areas in Kisumu so that people know where to go when they want to start their cleanup and make a true impact on the environment. Our revenue will come from advertising a subscription service where we allow recycling centers to rent space on our app because what we, are allow, what we are doing is we are linking the recycling market to the cleanup market. Once people are done with cleanups, they don't know what to do with their plastic. So by, allow, so by directing these people to local recycling centers, we are allowing recycling centers to get free access to recyclable plastic. So they can rent a space on our app and get access to people after they do cleanups. Another way we are going to make revenue is through grants. We have, we have already achieved our first milestone, which is beginning to develop our app on MIT App Inventor. Our next milestone is to, add in a, is to develop AI and machine learning to allow the app to be able to map the most polluted areas and to, allow, and to use an AI feature to geotag later. Our next milestone is to launch the app on Play Store. Our app has already been featured on a national TV station once and there is a lot of interest from this national TV station to look at our app and feature it once it is done. Our main competitors are similar apps. What sets our app apart is the number of unique features it has. First of all, no other app directs people to the most polluted areas in Kisumu. Our app is suited to the Kenyan atmosphere in types of the brands that it rec in, in types of the brands that it is able to recognize and the categories of litter that it puts on. We have a wide range of almost every type of plastic you could find on Lake Victoria. Our app also directs people to recycling centers so that after the cleanup you don't put your waste back in a dumping site. No other app has this feature. We've also managed to bring together the AI, the AI camera and the tap mechanism to make sure that users can decide whether they want to record, whether they want to take pictures of their trash or whether they just want to tap to record the number of trash pieces they've collected. We also allow people to join a community of, cle of beach cleaners once they are done with their cleanup. Our app contains a link to a Discord server where you can go and continue the conversation about plastic pollution and discuss solutions. My team is made up of me, Michelle Mochelwa. I have experience in business management, project management, and programming, and my mentor, Dorcas, who has wide experience in tech and innovation in Africa. The possibilities are endless, and with Ziwasafi, we can all make a difference.